hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to share important questions from electrochemistry which of the following elements has the highest value of electrochemical equivalent electrochemical equivalent is directly proportional to the equivalent weight coming to the given options a magnesium b calcium c potassium and d sodium so the equivalent weight of magnesium is 24 by 2 that is equal to 12 that of calcium is 40 by 2 that is equal to 20 coming to the potassium it is 39 by 1 that is equal to 39 sodium 23 by 1 that is equal to 23 so from this data it is very clear that potassium is having the highest equivalent weight hence it will have highest value of electrochemical equivalent so the right option is option c the standard reduction potential of zinc and copper electrodes are minus 0.76 volts and plus 0.34 volts respectively for the cell reaction zn plus cu plus 2 gives rise to zn plus 2 plus cu the emf is option a plus 1.10 volt option b minus 0.42 volt option c plus 0.42 volt option d minus 1.10 volt so for the calculation of emf of the cell we have the expression emf of the cell is equal to e cathode minus e anode and from this cell reaction it is very clear that zinc is the anode copper is the cathode so the electrode potential of copper is 0.34 minus the electrode potential of zinc is minus 0.76 so it is minus 0.76 and finally it is equal to 1.10 volt so the right option is option a plus 1.10 volt one faraday is equal to option a 99650 coulombs option b 93100 coulombs option c 96500 coulombs option d 94500 coulombs option c is the right answer it is 96500 coulombs the metal that cannot be obtained by electrolysis of aqueous solution of its salt is so whenever aqueous solution is electrolyzed only the noble metals will deposit on cathode so noble metals means they include copper silver gold so if the metal is other than noble metal it will not be deposited so coming to the given options option a silver b gold c copper option d aluminium so here option d aluminium is the non noble metal hence it is the right answer the cell reaction of a cell is magnesium plus 2h plus gives rise to mg plus 2 plus h2 if the standard reduction potential of zinc is minus 2.372 volt then the emf of the cell is coming to the given options a plus 2.372 volt option b minus 2.372 volt option c 0.00 volt option d minus 1.372 volt so we have an expression for the calculation of emf of the cell that is e cathode minus e anode from this cell reaction it is very clear that magnesium is behaving as anode whereas hydrogen is behaving as the cathode so e hydrogen minus e magnesium the electrode potential of hydrogen is 0.0 volts so 0.00 minus minus of 2.372 so the emf of the cell is plus 
टू पॉइंट थ्री सेवन टू ओल्ड हेंस द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दट इज प्लस टू पॉइंट थ्री सेवन टू ओल्ड गैलवॉनिक सेल्स आर दि सेल्स विच कन्वर्ट ऑप्शन ए इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी टू केमिकल एनर्जी बी केमिकल एनर्जी टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सी केमिकल एनर्जी टू फ्री एनर्जी डी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी टू कैनेटिक एनर्जी सो गैलवॉनिक सेल्स कन्वर्ट्स केमिकल एनर्जी इंटू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर मास ऑफ सब्सटेंस प्रोवाइडेड एट इलेक्ट्रोड इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू क्वांटिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पास दिस इज नोन एज ऑप्शन ए फैडेज सेकेंड ला बी फैडेज फर्स्ट ला सी न्यूटन थर्ड ला डी न्यूटन फर्स्ट ला सो द अमौंट ऑफ दि सब्सटेंस दट ईज डिपोजिटेड ऑन दि इलेक्ट्रोड इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द क्वांटिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पास it is called as faraday's first law so option b is the right answer the units of electrochemical equivalent are a grams b grams ampere c coulomb d grams per coulomb so the expression for electrochemical equivalence is e equal to w by ct so it will be grams per coulomb so option d is the right answer during the electrolysis of brine 710 g of chlorine was liberated at anode the weight of naoh formed option a 800 g option b 400 g option c 80 g and option d 40 g here the brine solution is electrolyzed that means nacl is the brine solution it dissociates into na plus plus cl minus here chlorine gas was liberated at the anode so chlorine gas undergoes reduction by the loss of two electrons and results in the formation of cl2 gas during the electrolysis of brine 710 g of chlorine gas was liberated at anode the weight of naoh formed option a 800 g b 400 g c 80 g and d 40 g so brine solution means 10% nacl solution so initially nacl undergoes decomposition and results in the formation of na plus and cl minus ions so with the result the chlorine gas will be liberated at the anode due to the oxidation of chloride ions similarly the na plus ions will move to the cathode there they will react with oh minus ions and result in the formation of naoh solution so here when we consider the amount of chlorine gas form here one mole of chlorine gas is formed whereas coming to the naoh solution here two moles of naoh solution will be formed so always twice the amount of chlorine gas twice to the amount of chlorine here the sodium hydroxide will be formed here the chlorine gas liberated was equal to 710 g that means the weight of chlorine deposited is initially 71 and it is 710 g and the molecular weight of naoh is 40 and it should be twice to the chlorine gas so 2 into 400 and hence that is equal to 800 g so option a 800 g is the right answer in the daniell cell which electrode acts as anode daniell cell means zinc is connected to the copper electrode and hence zinc metal acts as anode 
so option b is the right answer which of the following is a good conductor d ionized water option a option b copper option c teflon option d bakelite here d ionized water is the bad conductor teflon and bakelite are the plastics they are also bad conductors copper is the metal it is a good conductor hence option b is the right answer the molar conductance of hcl is more than that of nacl because option a nacl is more polar than kcl option b nacl is ionic while hcl is covalent option c ionic mobility of h plus is more than that of na plus d h plus gets hydrated so these two are strong electrolytes and the molar conductance depends upon the mobility of the ions here when we compare the mobility of h plus ions with the tough na plus ions the mobility of h plus ions is more than that of na plus ions hence option c is the right answer The standard electrode potential of zinc electrode is minus zero point seven six two volts. The single electrode potential of zinc electrode in decimolar zinc sulfate solution is option A minus zero point seven nine one five volt, B minus zero point six seven one volt, option C plus zero point seven nine five volt, option D plus zero point six seven one volt. here in order to calculate single electrode potential if the standard electrode potential value is given we have to use nernst equation and the expression is e equal to e not plus 0.059 by n into log concentration of metal ions that means the electrolyte here standard electrode potential is given as minus 0.762 plus 0.059 by n n means the number of electrons involved in the reaction so zinc will be converted into zn plus 2 by the loss of two electrons so n equal to 2 and here the concentration of electrolytic solution is decimolar solution that means 0.1 molar solution so here it is 0.1 and that is equal to minus 0.762 plus 0.059 by 2 means 0.0295 and log 0.1 is minus 1 and hence that is equal to minus 0.7915 and hence the right answer is option a that is minus 0.7915 volt is the right option the main function of salt bridge is option a to produce a link between two half cells b to allow ions to go from one cell to another cell c to keep emf of cell positive and d to maintain electrical neutrality at the electrodes the main functioning of salt bridge is to maintain electrical neutrality at the electrodes so option d is the right answer the standard reduction potentials of lithium zinc hydrogen and silver are minus 3.05 minus 0.762 0.00 and plus 0.80 volt respectively which is the strongest reducing agent the metal with lowest reduction potential will act as strongest reducing agent and here lithium is having the lowest value for the electrode potential and hence lithium will act as the strongest reducing agent so option d is the right answer in salt bridge kcl is used because option a kcl is present in calomel electrode b k plus and cl minus ions are not isoelectronic option c k plus and cl minus ions have the same speed option d kcl is an electrolyte option c that is k plus and cl minus ions have the same speed is the right answer given that electrode 
potential of nickel electrode is plus 0.38 volt and electrode potential of copper is given as minus 0.34 volt what is the emf of the cell option a 0.72 volt b 0.02 volt c minus 0.04 volt option d minus 0.72 volt so we have an expression for the calculation of emf of the cell as e cell is equal to e cathode minus e anode so initially we have to check whether the given potentials are reduction potentials or not always we should use reduction potentials while calculating emf of the cell here nickel to nickel plus 2 oxidation potential value is given so in order to get reduction potential you just change the sign so reduction potential is equal to minus 0.3 8 volt similarly coming to the copper here also oxidation potential value is given and it will be converted into reduction potential and the reduction potential of copper is 0.34 volt next we have to identify which electrode will act as the cathode so the electrode with the highest potential will act as the cathode so between minus 0.38 volt and 0.34 volt automatically 0.34 volt is the highest value hence cathode will act as copper will act as cathode so e copper minus e nickel on substituting the values 0.34 minus minus of 0.38 that is equal to 0.72 volt hence option a that is 0.72 volt is the right answer a solution of silver nitrate was electrolyzed using platinum electrodes and a current of 2 amperes for 965 seconds the weight of silver deposited was atomic weight of silver is 108 option a 2.16 g option b 1.08 g option c 108 g and option d 0.432 g in order to calculate the weight we have faraday's first law that is w equal to e c t here the value of small e is not given then we have to use the expression w equal to a c t by n f a means atomic weight n means the valency so here the atomic weight of silver is 108 c is the current that is 2 time 965 and n equal to 1 f value is number of faraday's that is 1 faraday is equal to 96500 and on calculating it is equal to 2.16 g hence option a is the right answer which of the following ions will undergo fastest reduction option a k plus b al plus 3 c cadmium plus d ag plus in general noble metals will undergo fastest reduction here the noble metal is silver so option d is the right answer which of the following is an electrolyte a acetic acid b glucose c urea d pyridine so option b glucose c urea d pyridine are non electrolyte so option a acetic acid is an electrolyte A solution of nickel chloride was electrolyzed using platinum electrodes after ele electrolysis. A. Nickel deposited at anode. B. Chlorine gas liberated at cathode. C. Hydrogen gas was liberated at anode. D. Nickel deposited at cathode. Here, the electrolytic solution is nickel chloride, and the electrodes are platinum electrodes. Hence, always nickel will be deposited at the cathode and chlorine gas will be liberated at the anode. Hence, option D, that is nickel deposited at cathode, is the right answer. Which of the following metals will undergo fastest oxidation? Option A, copper. B, lithium. C, zinc. D, iron. So, the element which occupies top position in electrochemical series undergo fastest oxidation. and hence option b lithium is the right answer which of the following is the strong electrolyte option a acetic acid b formic acid c ammonium hydroxide d hcl so option d hcl is the right answer electrolysis of an aqueous solution of sodium acetate gives option a ethane b ethylene c acetylene option d methane 
So sodium acetate CH3COO NA it dissociates into CH3COO minus plus NA plus. So at anode CH3COO minus it undergoes oxidation by the gain of electrons and results in the formation of ethane gas and CO2. So here option A that is ethane is the right answer. If you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.